This town will break you if you stay long enough. Most people can't leave, and some don't even want to. At this time of night, the streets look empty. They are empty, until you need them to be. Most people pass through the shadows of this town that's been so cold over the years. It seems to rain more often than it should. Every street light, an island in the gloom. The ground glistens, the streets wet. A single bulb over a battered door. It opens, a stinking maw. I don't want to be here. She draws me in, moth the flame. Here a knife, there a gun. The death the men carried shone like hellish neon signs. They flirted grossly with women that didn't much like themselves while drinking their lives away on the cheap stuff. I had to find her. I knew she was in trouble. She's been keeping dangerous company. I slid my eyes over the room. I stood out like a clean shave, a little too close for comfort. Bartender, hit me. It burned like battery acid, but I needed that. I made short work of the meat. I left them in an ugly pile on the ground. With a crowd this rough, you need to be hard with your words and smooth with your fists. There she was, those lips. They picked up their truncheons, looking forward to the sound of the bones breaking. They didn't know it would be their own. Greasy mooks didn't have the guts to fight me. Good help is hard to find. One look said it all. There'd be a price on our heads tonight. I had made another enemy tonight. Just one more face in the rogues gallery. She was worth it. I followed her outside. It was snowing now. Our troubles were far from over. She didn't say a word. She didn't have to. I took a moment to drink her in. The feeling of cold steel pressing into my stomach snapped me out of it and reminded me that in this forsaken city, Deans are always trouble, no matter the vintage. Damn. At least I'll finally be able to sleep.